Perfect. My name is Denzel Brown and I work as a photographer and sometime filmmaker now. I got involved in the industry by starting off in the arts. I worked in several galleries in town doing graphic design and photography work. In general, I work from home right here. As I've been taking more film work, I've been working on short films which I put into festivals, but more recently I've been getting commissioned work. So a recent example was working for a local dairy company called In Your Space. They wanted a film to go alongside some productions of plays and performances that they were putting together. So they came to me because they liked the particular style that I have. One thing that technology has done is it's democratized things. Anyone can pick up a phone, pick up a camera and start to shoot and make things, which wasn't possible maybe 10 years ago. The other side of that then is that there's more competition in the marketplace for that. As the creative industries move on and more technologies get interlinked with each other, such as film making, augmented reality, 3D, etc., etc., I'd say for anyone entering the industry in 10 years time, it would be a certain jump ahead to know a little bit about coding and how these things actually work inside your phone and inside your computer are going to be what the creative industry leaders of tomorrow are going to need. As a young person, you'll be better to have someone that you could use as a mentor, someone who works in the industry and has been for a while, knows what they're doing. Then you can pick up lots of great advice from them. What you need to do really is simply to get involved, to start taking photographs, to start making films, to start coding and gaming, whatever stream of the creative industry that you wish to join. We simply need to get as much experience as possible. Okay, so. Today, I'm going to show you how to edit a film together using iMovie. So as soon as we have iMovie open, the first thing we need to do is import our footage. So we can just click Import Media and go and find the files and folders that we're looking for. I can simply hit Import All because I know the files that I want to use. The stuff that we've imported is up in our Clips screen here. So I can see each separate clip. If I run over them with the mouse like this, I can see the footage actually comes up on the other side here. This is my preview window. So to start building the movie together then, I take my clips from my clips window up here on the left and I drag them down onto the timeline. So I've got extra footage here at the start before the person actually enters the frame. So what I can do is I can grab the edge and I can simply drag that in to the point where she enters. So you can see now we have the bit that we want is highlighted in yellow and if we just click to drag that down, we drop it on the timeline, and we only bring in the bit of footage that I wanted. We can edit things on the timeline as well. I can grab this and take the whole thing down to the timeline. I drop it in, and it automatically lines up beside the last one. So you can see there's a bit of dead time before the camera starts to zoom. So what I want to do is grab the left-hand edge, drag that in until the point where the camera starts to zoom. I can hit the play key, which is just our space bar, and that runs through the two scenes that I've now put together. It's very easy to rearrange things in any of these video software programs. All I need to do is just grab the piece that I want, drag it over, line it up, and once again, iMovie just moves the second piece of footage out of the way. Okay, so I've built up a few more scenes in this movie now, and it's now time to start thinking about the sound. So either we can use royalty-free, non-copyrighted music. There are plenty of good sources out there. I often use a site called incompetech.com. Another option, of course, is to make your own. So I've imported my audio here alongside the video files when I first opened the project. If I want to drag in audio, then I can drag that down and simply drop it in underneath and play. I can hear my nice creepy fairy tale soundtrack over the top. If we need to add any text to our film for any reason, we may need to put a title at the start. We may need to put captions in to explain action that's happening on screen in a kind of comic book style. We have the option of adding titles here in iMovie. So if I click on titles, that replaces my clips with preset options for different titles that we have here. 
So there are many different animated titles that will come in from the screen or suddenly appear or move around. I'm just going to go with a fairly standard reveal of text. If I double click on that, it places it in my movie, wherever my cursor was. I can remove that so it doesn't really matter where it ends up to begin with. As soon as I've double clicked, I get the option here in my preview window to now put in my own text. I have options for different fonts I might want to use up here. I can change the size if I think they're a little bit too big on the screen. That's more suitable. And I can also change the color. So instead of white, I can click on the color picker and then I can drag this around to choose any shade that I like. Okay, so I've just clicked off the screen and onto the gray to set those changes. And I can see here, if I run the cursor along, it shows me the title. But it's a simple job to simply grab that, just like we did with the footage earlier, drag it back to the start and drop it into the right place. I'm happy with that. So now we need to finish off. This is still within iMovie, so we need to export the video. So if I go up here to the top, I'll find we have File and Share. We can go straight from Share into YouTube, Vimeo, Facebook, or if we simply want to make a video file that's good quality and we can then use for different things, File, Share, and then we get File as an option here underneath YouTube and Facebook. So go and simply click where it says My Movie and retitle it. Okay, format, video and audio because we have a soundtrack on here. Resolution is 1080p because iMovie recognizes that that's what the footage was when it first went in here. Quality, high, and now we can simply click Next and that'll save it into your Documents folder. So click on Save and then we can sit back because that'll probably take a few minutes if you've got a lot of footage in there. Okay then, so just to recap, we're pretty much done here. We shoot our footage on our phone, our cameras, whatever that might be. We import it all into the computer. Then we kind of do our filing and we name things and make sure we have just the footage that we want. In iMovie, we then build things up. So we start with our video clips. We drop them all onto the timeline one by one. Then we get our audio as a track that goes right underneath and any titles are going on the layer above that. With all of that done, that's the movie complete. So I hit export there to share the video and make it into another file. So let's go and have a look at the finished piece. Okay, there we go. This is what I've created in quite a short time. Now it's up to you. Pick up your cameras and get busy.